Friday, time to kick back, talk music. Today, we're talking about the war, the war of the mini amps. <laughs> I'm in the garage today, just want to try a different setting. I had, side note, I had the worst head cold this week. I canceled, canceled a lot of stuff, but I did want to get this video done because Aima sent me this Class D mini amp to show on the channel to check out. There are a lot of these Class D mini amps on the market and there's, they've really surprised me. There are a lot of really good ones. They're small, they're affordable, and they're really, they're really loud and they sound they sound really good. I'll show you my setup there, then I'll hook this one up and we'll see how it sounds. Just finished, just finished raining outside. Usually we leave our vehicles in the driveway in the summer, but I drove my wife's RAV into the garage because it was hailing and I didn't want any hail damage. But again, complete side note, nothing to do with music, but to any of you, are any of you into barbecue smoking? I just picked up this master built charcoal grill and smoker. I think it's the Gravity 800. Just set it up. I'm super excited to try this out. You put the charcoal in here, it drops, and there's a fan. It's all digital. It's all digital Wi Fi. The fan kicks on and keeps it at a steady temperature between 250 and no, two, between 250 and like 700 for searing. So I look forward to trying that out. Uh, other than that, I've been in the garage before, but not for a while. Typical garage, got the bikes, we got storage, all our Christmas and seasonal boxes. Here, I got my John Deere. Can you see that? My John Deere lawn tractor. We live outside the city in a semi-rural area on an acre and a half, so I definitely need the John Deere to mow the lawn. I'd be here forever. Uh, what else can I show you? Just my tools and stuff over there. In the winter, I'm a basement dweller. In the summer, I'm a garage dweller. Got uh, these kitchen cabinets. Oh, the light's really poor in here. Sorry about that. These kitchen cabinets, they used to be my brother's kitchen. He renovated them, so I brought them into the garage. Got a TV up there. And here's the stereo. You need the garage tunes, right? Here's the stereo. So before I was using the Sony receiver, got the Yamaha tape deck. Here's a JVC VCR. I don't really use, I don't use the VCR. I just wasn't sure where to put it. So it just, it's kind of there for storage. I've been using this Fosse Audio. I use this, but I switched this little Fosse Audio class de-amplifier. Super small, but really loud. I reviewed it earlier, and this little amp has been powering some tower speakers I have here. The, the tower speakers are abstract audio. They're my father-in-law's, but they sound pretty decent. So today, I'm gonna take that Fosse amp and disconnect it, and we're gonna try out this one from Aima. Oh, before I do, remember Cribs, MTV Cribs? They always show you what's in the fridge. I got a garage fridge here. Got all the essentials that you need. Got beer. Can you see the beer? Got the beer. Kokanee. Miller Genuine Draft. Miller Light. I'm not really a big beer guy not into craft beers or anything like that so on a hot day you need a cold beer got diet pepsi got crown royal it's made it's distilled about an hour from here it's a good manitoba whiskey good canadian whiskey got some soda and other stuff anyway side note let me show you more of this iema amplifier all right here we go super super simple design Got a volume, got a volume right there, and an on and off switch. That's it. Fits the palm of your hand. 
On the back, we got the RCA ins. We have a, a auxiliary 3.5 connected as an input or as an output. If you have something in the RCAs, it only acts as an output. So, say you could attach like a powered subwoofer to that. It's got the uh, speaker terminals and has the power in. So, I'm gonna hook it up there and I'm gonna attach my phone to here and we'll see how this sounds. I've hooked it up. See in the back there? I just use banana plugs to plug in my speakers, my garage speakers. It's attractive, it's a good looking, good looking little amplifier. And uh, I'm just looking at the options they have on the website for hooking it up. I'm gonna hook it up directly to my phone via the RCA inputs to the 1 8 uh, jack, plugging this into my phone. Mm, we'll try it out and see how it sounds. I found the results pretty interesting. I wanna talk about that. In the okay, second I got it hooked up to my first, last YouTube so video. See what this sounds like. You and I, this question and we'll hear the <laughs> song here together for the first time. All right. I mean, you heard that. It's kind of hard to tell from that. And, well, it's hard to assess an amp just from that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to listen to some Spotify from my phone. The IEMA doesn't have tone control, so I'll use the, uh, the equalizer. I think there's an equalizer on Spotify on my phone. Kind of fine-tune that. I'll come back and I'll report my thoughts on that mini amp. Stay tuned. Right back. All right, I'm back in the music room. I ended up using that amp all night. And of course, I've developed some thoughts. First, let me give you some more details on the AIMA A07. This is a digital amp with a maximum output of 300 watts per channel. As tested, it had an output of about 80 watts per channel. If you upgrade the power supply, you get more wattage. It retails for around 70 bucks US, but the price fluctuates, so look out for sales. Of course, it includes the Texas Instruments TPA3255 amp chip, which a lot of people dig. And for those who like to tinker, you can also upgrade the op amp chip to change the tonal characteristics of the amp. By the way, if you have sent me something from the mailbag segment and I haven't shown you yet, hang tight, I got more cool stuff coming up. Back to this amp though, honestly, there's not a lot not to like about the IEMA. That's fully loaded with double negatives. I should avoid that. But I really had fun with this. It was a good, listen, it was sufficiently loud. What did I say? It was up to about 80 watts a channel. This was more than enough for my garage. It was quiet. It was dead quiet. Sometimes with the cheaper amps, there have been complaints, people hearing hiss, this. Dead silent, no hiss. Music is very clear, a lot of definition. I, I couldn't show it on the video because I don't play copyright music, but so they shut the camera off and played some copyright stuff off Spotify instantly. I was like, wow, this sucker performs. The sucker performs beyond its $70 price tag. So uh, that was pretty cool. How does it compare to the Fosse? I mean, there's obvious commonalities between the two amps and they are both class D amplifiers, but in some respects, it's apples to oranges, right? This is very simple volume, power. It doesn't have the Bluetooth functionality of the FOSI I was using. It doesn't have the tone controls. What you see here is what you get, and what you get is something pretty decent. Channel 33 RPM. All right, let's go through the pros and the cons. Pros, looks great sounds great, punches way, way above its weight, and it's powerful enough stock out of the box. As I said, it was loud enough to power those tower speakers and fill my garage. Cons, I mean, there are not a lot of cons to this price, talking about $70. Sure, it would have been nice to have tone controls, but on my phone, streaming Spotify, with my phone plugged into here, I used the equalizer there, so I was able to kind of play around with the tone. Some people like the, the flat tone too, so 
hey, there you go, it's got the flat tone, but I like a little bit of, uh, I like to play with the sound a bit, so I just use the EQ on my phone, and of course it has no Bluetooth, Bluetooth nowadays is, uh, I use Bluetooth all the time, but again, for a stock amp this size and this price, I mean, really, I can't complain very much. Good value, good sound, good quality. All right, 33ers, are you garage dwellers? Do you have a stereo set up in there? Tell me all about it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll be back again in a couple days. Till then, keep on spinning.